Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Mary at the Mary ATA, and today is Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, December the 10th. I had to wake up YouTube. It's slow getting on this morning. It's been slow the last couple weeks. Hi, Santa. Good morning. How are you this morning? Oh, yeah, it's been a slow couple of weeks on YouTube. I don't know what's going on. But the thing that is good about it is that my laptop is keeping up. That's interesting. Good morning, Ray. How are you this morning? Good morning. Good morning. I'm a little sleepy. I have been there. I just didn't chat. I'm doing that. I want to work on that this morning. We'll set these aside for a minute. And let's show you what I carved yesterday. I thought I'd stamp them off from last night. I carved this background stamp. Yeah, I carved the background stamp. <laughs> I have to laugh. My laptop to keep it up with me, but my my phone is lagging. Hi, oh, I'm buffering too. It has to be YouTube. They have to be messing with stuff. Everybody's buffering. It's it's like it's in it and then goes away. I don't know. And it's lagging really slow for me. Like, I don't know. I've moved my hands now, but my hands are still folded on my desktop on my phone. I don't know. It's but my but my laptop is keeping up with me. Which is really weird because that's exactly the opposite of what's been happening. But all right. So I thought I would show you my what I carved last night. This was for day eight and nine. I did make a video, but every time I make a video and download it, it takes forever to edit it. And I was so tired last night. I fell asleep during the editing process. <laughs> I said, to heck with it. I'm sleepy. So let's just show you what I did. We'll stamp it out here. Boy, is it lagging. Hi, Mitzi. Good morning, Mitzi. Mitzi, I've been following your wonderful art on Facebook. You just have such a wonderful, unique style. I really enjoy watching your posts. That I did, like, you know, I'll go on my, and I'll even do that, like, on my envelopes. Only I didn't put any little dots in it. I put little stars. But that's kind of this area down in here. That's where I picked that up from. So I have a background stamp of my diagonals that I like so well. And then I'm practicing my words. Now, don't don't judge me. <laughs> Oops. Don't judge me. I need a lot of work on words. Let's see. Let's do it this way. Everybody's been free. It has to be YouTube. No, I didn't. Let's turn autofocus off. There, autofocus is off. Now I'm buffering. Come on. There. Picked up my phone. All right, let's... I did the word Christmas, but I struggled with it. I struggle with words, so obviously I need to practice more words this month during Carb December. And here's what I did last night. I really like my first, and I have a video of this. I might put it out just to show the process of carving this. Um, I really like that. But I went ahead and carved all the little inner pieces out like I show here. This is the final result down here. 
Christmas, my first Christmas word was, well, not the best. So I recarved it. And then I had to clean up my recarving. So that's what I. Let's put this stuff away. Put my stamp away. Put my Christmas stamp away here. I'm going to have to find another box for my stamps because my little cigar box is, is, is packed to the gill, to the, well, it's packed full. I was, I want to do some cutting of these and I'm hoping they're here. Yeah, they are. I'm going to get these, fussy cut these, and I thought I'd just do that here while I was hoping to talk to everybody this morning, but don't be hard on myself. I don't know. I, I guess there's always room for improvement, though, isn't there, Rhonda? I, I, get, I get frustrated because you know what you want. Let's see. Let's just get the... And I'll show you what I'm going to do with these. I'll, I'll fuss the original. And I ended up with saying I'm going to use the originals. Because if I keep the originals and keep it around, I'll, I'll never use it because I used it in my December journal. Do you know what I'm saying? So I might as well just use them and, and uh, move on to another. Probably find something else at the thrift store that... That's cool that I can use. Of course, I left one part of this out in my recliner. It's day 10, and I better get busy if I'm going to paint this cover and get my December daily done this year. And there's a lot of challenges going on. I think my... my um, Probably the challenge that I'll stick to the most in 2020 will be the jam journal one. Jam journal meaning journal a month. There are a lot of challenges out there, and I I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting challenged out. I'm getting to the one do. So I may not be participating in where I am today. I'll be doing the jam journal. And, and when she sends you a journal... I'm going to work in it with her. So I'll do that next month. But as far as a lot of challenges, I don't know. I'm just, I think I'm going to cut down because I'm not getting my other journaling done. I'm not getting my journaling done. And, you know, here, here, my front cover sits here on my desk. I did get the ATCs that uh, I made Friday night in my stream. We had a uh, a we had a bumpy stream last Friday night. I kept losing my sound, and I think that's a YouTube thing too. You guys yell at me. Oh, you don't mind if I go get it? Okay. Well, we'll get these fussy cut first. Um, you yell at me if I lose sound. Keep yelling at me. I'll try. And that's one thing I want to work on is following the chat more. And I may buy a new microphone. Uh, not because somebody's messing around with something. Throw snowballs. <laughs> Just, I'll eventually notice. I wish that there was some way. I wish the moderator had the ability to make my screen blink. Uh, this is really too big of a scissors to be fussy cutting with. But I'll do it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Get these little pieces in here. Not sure how good this is. It's 
So I decided just to go ahead and use the original journal, except for the one I sent Holly. She's getting the original. She's getting the original. And I'm working on Holly. I'm working on Holly. And uh, I have theirs done. I just need to. I need to. Um, get it ready to mail. But it's all. They're done. So I hope to get those in the mail this week. All right. There's that one. Let's, let's do this one. This is the one to where I think they cut it off here. They, they got like a half an inch here. And it went. Oh, I'm buffering. We'll leave the bushes on this. So I got enough of these. Well, they're only like five or six basic designs. And I've got enough to... i got to get the scraps out of the way here. I've got enough page for every day in December which I think is cool and we're just going to cut this here and I'm fussy cutting these intricate pieces like this she'll paint and I'm going to be using uh, well like ground but the tower here and the tower something else now, let's fussy cut this Do I paint that little tower thing? I think I will. Because see, it comes up to a, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it comes up to a point there. And even if I got it fussy cut, see, it's over here too. This, um, it, it's going to be hard to... I mean, not hard to glue. It's going to be a, a glue challenge. Now I can, I can cut up close to it, but I think I'll take the paintbrush and paint in on some of this. That's what Dee Dee does when she's doing her big. Um, let's get up pretty close to it when she does her acrobats on one of her big posters that she does. And yeah, I might need. Oh, Painty Girl. Is Painty Girl in here? Good morning. Happy mail to open from Painty Girl. Painty Girl, I got your package on Saturday. Yeah, it was Saturday. I got your package on Saturday. And I was going to stream over the weekend. And I never got it done. And I was going to stream yesterday morning. And I turned over and I went back to sleep. <laughs> We'll just do two fussy cuts here. Then we'll open Painty Girl's Happy Mail. Yeah. See, trying to get... The intricate pieces all cut. It's fine if you've got the time and the inclination, but I'm just going to paint. Paint around these little towers here. Let's see, I can come in closer there. On these. Now, I'll just kind of come in here, I think, like this. 
think I can get all the way down on this. And we'll just... There we go. All right, we got two of them. That's enough for now. That's enough for now. Oops. Now, we'll save the two out. And I'll fussy cut the rest of these while the TV is going. <laughs> oh, dear. How to create Yomada and Michael Larson. Discussing this book the other day. Let me have a sip of tea. Mmm. Peppermint tea. That's good in the mornings when you haven't had time to brush your teeth. All righty. So what I want to do is open Painty Girls Happy Mail. And we're going to open these... Well, I guess she did the smart thing, and she put the address on the side. So I can think I can get away with opening this right here on the top. I've got to get my opener out. Painty Girl that was in the gingerbread swap. I have... Well, let's see. Let's just open it and see what's in here. The gingerbread house swap with Aunt Beck and Aunt Beck's creations. Let's see what's in here. Look at this. Can I pop them? Can I pop them? Let's get some noise going. Let's wake up YouTube. Uh-oh, they're just going to smish. Come on, I want to pop it. Oh, wake up, YouTube! <laughs> wake up, YouTube! Look what she's done here. Look what she's done. Let's open this up. Let's see what's inside of here. Oh, that's what I thought it was, Paint Girly. I wasn't going to say for sure until I saw it, but look at this. Oh, it's darling. Oh, <laughs> and it says believe. Is that believe in there? Oh, look at this. Oh, I hope you sold a bundle of these at your, she did a craft show. And she was working really hard to get everything ready for the craft fair. I hope that you sold a bundle because these are just wonderful. And look how nice they're painted. Oh, wow. Oh, she's darling. I love her. I absolutely love her. Excellent work. Just excellent. I'm listening chat here. Kimberly said she received a package yesterday. She haven't opened it yet. Hi, Cheryl. Good morning. Hi, Odegan. Good morning, Norway, she says. I didn't know you were in Norway. Good morning, Hilda Dunn. Mitzi says, I can mail to you with address you had on yours, Kimmy, question mark. Yes, it was adorable tea room, Mindy. Um, Mindy and Mitzi are having a conversation. I'm trying to catch up with chat. Isn't this darling? Isn't this just adorable? Now, this gal has skills. She's got skills. <laughs> And I love her hat. I hope that you sold a bundle of these. A light bulb. And she she paints faces on them. It's just darling. 
I'm coming kind of slow the last couple of days. I'll check my email. You have one more show. Well, I hope you sold a lot of them because these are just adorable. These are just plain adorable. I'm going to put mine back in my box until after after the stream because I don't want to break it. Wake up, YouTube! <laughs> Let's see what she's done here. She's got a card in here. She's got some more stuff in here. Let's do them one at a time. I'm going to wrap this up in bubble wrap. I don't want to break it. I'll go hang this on our Christmas tree. This is just adorable. Adorable. All right. Let's see what else is in here. Well, let's actually take them out. Oh, there's a book. There's a book. Okay, I'm going to put my... I'm going to put the bulb back in. So I don't want to break it. Get this off my desk. Okay. Look, it's a little jingle bell on here. How creative is this envelope? How creative. I'm buffering, but I'm just going to keep going. It's only, see, let's see how much of a buffer this is. I have to get it off of the stand here. It's quite a bit of a buffer. What do I, I don't have much going up there, but let's go ahead and refresh. Refresh. I think it's the holiday. I think it's the holidays. Video will play after ad. Hi, Lori. Good morning. Good morning. Little sister Cheryl, wasn't your birthday Sunday? Was your was your birthday on Sunday, Cheryl? Happy birthday. Did we miss Cheryl's birthday? Happy birthday to you. Where's Cheryl? Did she answer? Hi, Ann. Oh, it was your daughter's birthday. Well, happy birthday to your daughter. <laughs> um, on our address list, Violet's uh, said and or your birthdays. I need to go back out on Fibsville Friends. There's a link to Fibsville Friends in my description box below. It's a Facebook group that was started by Violet and Janet is helping out. And uh, they're doing a really great job. You know, I have to get on Facebook more than I do. I try. <laughs> oh. No, no, it's daughter's birthday. <laughs> Aww. Was Sweetheart in here? Did I miss saying good morning to Sweetheart? I always seem to miss miss people. Uh, Lori says, Kimmers, are you kidding me right now? I love, 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 love my acorn duck and heart ornament or whatever I want to do with it. You are so thoughtful and sweet. Aww. Let's see. Painty Girl says, oh, you're selling them in your Etsy shop. Going to Painty Girl's channel. And we're going to pick a video here because I'll just bet you she's got a link to her Etsy shop in there. Let's go to the adult channel painting light bulbs live so this is where she's painting i have the sound off so this is where she's been painting these and i think mine is right there i do think that that this was one of them or it's her sister but what i want to do is go to her etsy shop let's see is, is, is there a link to oh you need to put links to your etsy shop is it in your about Let's go to the about. Oh, you need to get some links to Yetsy shop in there, Painty Girl. She's been busy. Back to my chat.
Good morning, everybody. Yeah, we're getting nothing but buffering this morning. I don't know. I guess YouTube can't be expected to serve the whole world. <laughs> Even right now, I've got 30 people in here in my little chat room. Just think of the people all over the world. And it's only 5 o'clock in the morning here. Yeah, everybody's been buffering really bad. Cheryl, my daughter's birthday was the 5th, Ray says. Hubby's is the 30th. Too many things going on in December. Yep. All right, let's open this card. Painted Girl says, get on with it. Look. Look, she did a little tea by note. Oh, how creative this is. Let, let's read it. It says, Mary. I saw this book at a secondhand bookstore and thought of you. Please cut it up. Oh, okay. Or whatever. Just thought you'd enjoy it. The tea light is for the nativity card. Okay. There must be another. Is there something else in here? No. Well, let's see what she said. Let me finish opening up. My gingerbread house is a bit outside of the box. Well, we like outside of the box. So this is just left from last night's carving and stamping. Love it. I hope that you just, I hope you rack up millions on these, those bulbs because they're worth it. They are just darling. Thank you for your inspiration and being an art buddy. Well, thank you for coming to my streams, Paint Girl. I love how she's done this envelope with the little jingle bell and, and the tie. And let's take the little paper clip off because if I don't, I'm going to lose it. And I think these might be Tim Holtz little paper clips. They're adorable. Let's open this. Oh. Look at this. Oh, this is wonderful. Look, it's a, it's a pop-up card with the nativity. Oh, wow. Let me, let me bend it open here first so it opens up. Oh, this is, that is wonderful. I would have never thought of doing a nativity. It says star of wonder, star of light. And it's got the manger scene and the wise men. Oh, wow. Well, now can I get it to Mary? This is wonderful. Wow. Oh, wow. Let's put it back in here. Except for I will, I will be putting this out. Except I don't want to ruin everything. And let's see what's what's in here. The out of the box. <laughs> I love out of the box. Oh, the Grinch. The Grinch. I, I adore it. I love it. I love it. I'll wait till I show my brother. He'll get a kick out of this. A Grinch gingerbread house. He's got <laughs> this is just adorable. This is adorable. Look at this. Look what she did for the hair. I think they're feathers. <laughs> Creative. I just love your creativity. Who would have thought? Who thought? Oh, Painty Girl, these are wonderful. Time to be creative. That's her Etsy shop. T-H-Y-M-E-2, the numeral 2, time to be creative. B is a capital B. T-H-Y-M-E-2, capital B, C-R-E-A-T-I-V-E. -E. Time to be creative. Oh, wow. Well, you certainly are creative. And look at what she's done with an ATC. These are wonderful. These are just, 
you know, you are just wonderfully creative. Look at this, what she's done to the back of this card. She's distressed it. Oh, wow. And a little mini tag here with wonderful vintage. And she's put a little red. Those will go in my art journal. And a beautiful, beautiful napkin. Oh, wherever did you ever get this napkin? It's it's a vintage Santa with the the train. Oh, the, this is just beautiful, Painty Girl. Beautiful. By the way, Painty Girl's name is Lori, the same as our our Lori from Montana. They spell a thing, but I'm going to keep calling her Painty Girl because that way we'll keep it we'll keep it the same. Oh wow. Well, for now, I'm going to put everything back in the envelope and in the box so I don't lose things. And when I get my art journal together here, I'll be putting these things in December daily. And this is just a fussy cut scrap. Let me put my opener away here. I love him. I just love him. FTC man. FTC man. <laughs> like, I'm going to get you. Get he. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Let's see. All around the block, an alphabet. Oh, wow. Look at L I K A N. Oh, look, A, 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 this, this will be good for, oh, look, a shadow box. Look what they did with the shadow box. Oh, that's wonderful. B for box. Oh, that makes me want to go back and I, wow. C for cup, E for empty. <laughs> D for dragonfly. Oh, wow. These are wonderful. She says I can cut it up. So I probably will be. I probably will be cutting this up. Or I might make a little altered book out of it. This would make a nice little altered book, wouldn't it? Because what I could do is I could alter this side and, and maybe put this side in and put some die cuts or something on this side. I want to I want to do more die cutting in 2022. Thank you so much. This was a perfect perfect gift. So thank you for everything painty girl. I love it. Wonderful talent. So what am I going to do here? I want to show you how I'm going to build my pages. And let me get over here to my the side of my desk because I have to dig, but not too much because I know where it's at. Right here, right? Oh, I can't see. Yeah, I got it. I've got it. It's just a little heavy for one hand. Come on. No. I got this. And I think I got it for my birthday. Birthday money. Um, black art paper. 12 by 18. So I'm going to have to trim it down to 11 by 17. Let, let's pull... It is, it's very, I'm going to pull two sheets out. It's very, it's very strong. There's two sheets here, but it's, it's pretty thick. And so uh, I'll only be doing, well, 31 or 32 sheets in my journal. But I'm going to have to order some more of that. It's heavy. Hopefully I have them out here. But see... Well, let's trim. Now, I'm going to have to fold it before I trim it. Well, I'm going to have to trim it first on the sides. Let's go ahead and trim it. I'm just going to trim two here. This is really thick paper. These would make wonderful, wonderful ATCs and tags. I'm going to get some more of this. 
it was ex it was pretty expensive but for that pack well first of all it's black paper and it's in a pad and it's large paper pad i mean it's 12 by 18 but paper packs 12 by 18 at the office supply store are running 20 22 23 dollars and that's about what this cost at hobby lobby at not hobby lobby at dick Blit. You don't have to pay the shipping, and that helps. I need to cut this off an inch. An inch here for 17 inches. And let's get it straight, Mary. As straight as you can. But see, I can I can make inches. I'm buffering. I'm buffering. The buffer monster is here. This little guide thing is off just a bit. Yeah. Okay. So we want to fold this in half. And this is pretty, this is pretty, uh, now see, this is 17 inches, this off of the, where's the other one? So let's, let's just fold this in half. This folded in half should be eight and a half. And it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Does Mary ever do anything perfect? That's not my style. But see, by the time I get 32 of these, I get my... This is pretty thick. Pay a uh, card stock. Does it give the pound? Let me reach over here and get that package again. Hold it. Oh, it thing is heavy. 90 GSM 290. So that's pretty thick. Um, I don't know if GSM is the same as like the pound, but I think it's if it's not the same, it's very close. But that's really nice. And it's put out by Richeson, Richeson, R I C H E S O N, Jack Richeson Company in Kimberly, Wisconsin. Kimberly, Wisconsin. <laughs> I love my Wisconsin, my second home. My second home. So let's go ahead and fold the other one. And it's going to pick up some, some lint and paint. And that's just going to be the way it's. I have red. I ordered black so I could do white on it. Do a tree in one of these just for my art journal. That same as I've been doing on my envelopes. How, these will make really nice signatures. Really nice. I might have to like two or three to a signature because already two is already two is is buffering out here. So, um. But it don't, won't take a lot of pages for 32 pages. It'll take well, eight of these. So I could do two, four, six, eight. I could do two in a signature. Let's see if, if this one fits inside of here better. better. But what I want to do, okay, let's say this is the title page here. I'm buffering like crazy. This is the title page. So we're going to open it up and I'm going to put a, a house here. And then over here, 
Oh, let me let me run and get them. Rhonda said, you can run and get them, Mary. We don't mind. Let me move my mail here and my paper. Oh, I have to show you something else, but it's on the bottom of the stack here. Hold on a sec. I got to go out here in the other room for a minute. They're sitting right out here by my recliner. Okay, hold it, I got it, got it, got it. What I wanna do, and I might do some paint work around the edge, I don't know, we'll see. I kinda like it like this, because it's nice and clean. But by the time I collage that in there, it may not be so nice and clean. Okay, let's see where I'm at here. This is day one. And I see I wrote on the back of my postcard what I did on December the 1st. I woke up early. Morning devotions is Advent day. I'm, I'm following an Advent devotional. And I chose a Christmas song, Joy to the World. Uh, yesterday we put up uh, Tom's wildlife Christmas tree and I started crocheting snowflakes. I had coffee and nut bread for breakfast. I read a chapter in the Midford series. I straightened up in the studio. Oops, <laughs> I think I messed it up. Let's see, what else did I do? I'm trying to read my writer. I folded clothes out of the dryer. I found these postcards to write about my December today. And December is carved December. I carved an A, but I also carved that little gingerbread. So, so I can read. Now, I'm not going to glue these down. I'm going to have to maybe put a little insert or uh, something to hold them in there. I'm thinking like a little pocket type thing to just kind of them down. And then down in here, I'm going to put an image. I don't think I have one stamped out. Let's just say that this, let's just say this is a stamped image. Maybe I'll put a little piece of fabric. I've got that fabric that I was using. So, and I might put some ver uh, verses out of Christmas cards. I got a whole stack of Christmas cards. Let's move this up a little. I don't know what you guys can see, but on my phone, I can't see it very well. On my laptop, it looks good. Weird. So that's kind of what I'm going to do for my December daily on every day. And I've got, let's see, this is day two, three, four, five. I've been catching up. Yeah. Where are the rest of them here? Yesterday was nine. I'm not done with yesterday's. Here's six. Isn't she adorable? These are those postcards that I got. Six, seven, eight, and nine. So I have to do day 10, which is today. But they'll go um, they'll go on, on the opposite page, like on day two. So I will only need, I won't need all of these painty houses. Uh, I'll only need, uh, well, there's 31 days, so I'll only need about 16 of these. But I've got enough for 32 of them. So I may not fussy cut them all out. Maybe I'll keep a set. So these are my postcards, and I'm working on these every day. Well, I set them out by my recliner. And then I'm going to do my stamp. I kind of like that red there. I might just put, and then I might put my stamp, whatever I stamped, because I worked on the letter A here. Do I have a, 
sometimes I have a scrap that I stamped on, but I have lots of scraps. Just call it my frame. I'll put that there. And then I was thinking I would put a, I could also collage in my little Jim Shore napkin scraps if I want it. Let's see. I kept one of those for me. Finding him as another story. Here he is. I should maybe make an ATC for every day, too, instead of the Christmas card. I could probably do both. Here's the Jim Shore one. So that's going to be the basis of my December daily on the inside. And then every day, like this day one, day two, day three, day four, it's going to like go like that, back and forth. So that is what I'm planning. Let's see. I need to put these with the postcards. Now what I want to do... Talk about getting busy about. I'm buffering, so I don't know where my chat is, how far I'm behind. Kimberly says, let's see what they're talking about. Well, let's see. Hey, Cheryl, have you ever heard of M-O-Y-O-C-K? Moyock? We moved out there, and our internet is horrible. So much faster at the beach. No, Kimberly, if you are not here on the East Coast, I would have no idea. Kimberly says, yes, it's on the coast at the state line, but they haven't upgraded the internet yet. So I sympathize because I understand, Kimberly, I understand perfectly because I'm way out in the boondocks in Nebraska and my internet is spotty at the most. Um, my laptop seems to be doing good. I think YouTube's been messing around with the, with the server thing because I'm getting good laptop response time. It's like when I do my hand like this, it, it follows me. But my phone is really lagging now. But I can take that. <laughs> Cheryl says, I think ours is bad because the internet service is always changing something. Yeah. And then we have YouTube making updates. Yeah, that's kind of how it's. So Thank you, Cheryl. Anne says she has jury duty today. Oh, Anne. What fun is that? <laughs> oh, dear. I would want you on my jury. <laughs> I'm not going to be on trial for murder, but if I was on trial for murder, I would want, I was on jury duty in Wisconsin, and I was kind of disappointed with my fellow jurists, because uh, I don't know, I told the, um, the judge gave us an opportunity, she was a lady judge, and I think I've talked about this trial before, but she gave us an opportunity to meet her afterwards. We couldn't talk about the trial itself. She said, no, I can't talk about the trial or the sentencing or anything or anything like that. But, you know, if you just want to come in and, and talk to me. And I was I think I was the only one who did it. I said, that would be me. <laughs> so I got to go back and, and meet her in her chambers, which I thought was really cool. Um, it appealed to the legal assistant side of me. <laughs> And we talked about jury selection and, and uh, what really bothered me on that jury that I served in on, back, you know, and everybody else kind of followed them. And what they said was, you know, kind of, okay, you, you, you said it, so we'll agree type thing. And that bothered me a lot because uh, I would have expected, um, people on a jury to do more independent thinking rather than just follow the leader. Um, I was kind of disappointed in that. And I told that, I told the judge, I said, if I was on trial for, for murder or trial for the same type of situation that this man was, I would not want the people that were on that jury to be on my jury 
because I, I felt that there was a lot of follow the leader in that group. I want to go home and cook supper. Let's get this over with type thing. And uh, rather than really trying to figure out what went on. But it is what it was. And, you know, it happened several years ago. Uh, I kind of I kind of disagreed with the two guys. So maybe I was a little more stubborn than the rest of them, which is not surprising. <laughs> so best wishes on your jury. Uh, and I'm sure you'll be fair. I don't picture Anne as following any male-dominated leader. <laughs> Talked about internet service. Yeah, refreshing isn't going to do any good. It might be my own internet service. Um, it might be the uh, the service that I'm getting. It may not be on your side because refreshing doesn't do me any good either. I'm going to go ahead and refresh. I just got a tweet. I got a tweet from the president. How good is that? He talks to me. <laughs> He doesn't talk to me personally, but now I want to qualify that for those of you who are from different parties. I follow whichever president is in the, I follow the president. I don't follow a party. I don't follow a person. I follow the president. So whoever wins in 2020, I follow them. <laughs> it's not, uh, it's not personal. <sighs> But the president tweeted me this morning. <laughs> he, my he gets in trouble. He gets into so much trouble. <laughs> Important, though, to be to follow what's going on in your country. And you don't have to follow. I do follow my state representatives and, uh, you know, ticks or anything like in my community. Maybe I should be more. But I like to stay informed. She has to be there at 8 a.m. Well, it's 6.30 your time now, Anne. So you better go get that coffee and 6.30, 7.30. I don't know how far you have to go, but she's going to try to get out of it. <laughs> Apparently, I get out of it because my age. Oh, okay. I don't know, though, Anne. Sometimes... Age is wisdom. Cheryl says, we'll be think of you, of you, Anne. Okay, I think I'm up with you guys. I want to, you're going to hear some paper crunching here because I want to paint, I want to paint the back of, I'm doing envelopes for Holly and Mary too. I've got the backs painted. I just have to do the front. And then I have to varnish, varnish the front side of Arlene's and Angela one one, and I haven't got it out to her yet. And I have a couple more I want to paint. I want to, I want to do a couple more as thank yous. Oh, it might take me all morning at the rate I'm going here. Where did I do with them? They're down here. Oh, it's a good thing I haven't toppled over in this chair yet. I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about ditching this chair and just getting a stool. Stool won't be very comfortable, but this chair squeaks as bad as the old one does. Maybe it's my body. Do you think? All right. So these are the envelopes that I did yesterday, and they just have, uh, well, there's, there's tape here. But they don't have the clasp on them. And I really like that they do not have the clasp. So this is going to be the front side. And it didn't take me long to do this. I did these while my brother, well, just about, um, it, he wasn't watching prices right yet. Now this way we'll work that in. Because I didn't fold these when I painted the other side. And I needed to do that. How does it look over here? We might have to come in and do a little there before I varnish it. But these, I need to get out my fine liner here. And I've been, I've been leaving a space here. I haven't mailed those yet. Hopefully I can convince the 
postal people to put their label here. They want to, they always want to put it over. They always want to put it on my, I have to train them. <laughs> this background paper that you see here is going to go in my art journal. Probably, well, not in the December one because I want my December one to be all that black paper. But All right. Now, this has a little bit of white speck on there, but I'll work that in. This is the... This is the flap side, but it needs to be there because of this. So we're going to start over here. Let's start my paint going here. And let's do a little address portion, return address. Now these are for Holly and Mary too. You know, and I haven't done snow globes yet. I haven't done snow globes yet. I wanted to get my snow globes done, and here it is, the 10th of December. I better get a, a move on, huh? Even if I could get a couple done, that would be better. If I just get started on them, I'll get enthused about doing them. I don't know how long this thing needs to be. I don't know the width of those labels and the length of them. Oops. Well, we'll make some holly leaves there. Seems to me like... Yeah, hold a second. Is there a label on this envelope? Now let me reach. Let me reach. Reaching. Reaching. Yes, there is. Let me measure. I don't want to show you the address, but see that label? Let me let me measure here. It is four by four by six. So I need to make this wow four. It needs to come way out to here. Oh man. All right, and six. Six comes almost down to the bottom because this is three by nine. Well, I think that I think that the labels are going to overpower the front, and this may be. And well, I'm going to have to come clear down to the bottom here, though. I'll just tell her to glue it over it. Chew. Chew. Excuse me. I'll say just put your label over that, my mistake. <laughs> That's what I'll say. Put your label over my mistake, lady. So I guess I can still get an address on here at six inches. The, the other one I'll have to cut, but six inches is going to come right down to the bottom. We won't have much going on here. She'll probably, maybe you can pull it off. At, the, ad, the, the front side, it, the back side is really the art. The back side is really the art. I'll try to dress this up a little bit. And just because I have that there, let's put one in here. I should have measured before I started here, but I didn't. I never do things perfectly do I let's roll my sleeve up or I'll have have it in my paint this is the thrift 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 store sweater that I got the other day it's a little warm in here but I'm wearing it just because 
Let's just make it fancy for now. Let's make it fancy for now. She'll feel guilty putting that label on there. I'll say, shame on you, post office. Hold it a second. I sneezed. All right, we need another holly leaf here. And I'm expecting a package in today, so I'll probably have to go to the post office today, but I probably will not get these mailed because I have to varnish them, you know, if it's not cured. And this, of course, is going to get covered up by that label, 4 by 6 All right. So we need an address box down here, a little lowly address box. in here and I'll put my own label in here and let's put some holly leaves here too this is really just male art the back side is the art side. The front side, we just, we have to have a place to put labels so they know where to send it. Otherwise, you wouldn't get it. Let's put a holly leaf in here. So we'll live with it. The four by six label. Oops. Well, that one's going to be. Okay, that I got for Thanksgiving, and we're finally getting to the end of them. We had a lot of carrots, a lot of baby carrots left over, so. We're eating those just, I made dressing, cornbread dressing, and used celery in the dressing. We ate the cherry tomatoes. We didn't have any trouble eating those up. Um, what else was in there? I had to throw the dip away. We're not big, we're not big dippers. <laughs> and I had purchased it had dip in the in the veggie tray, and I didn't know that, and I purchased dip. Let's see. I think I'm going to put another one in here. It's kind of bare in there. Let's put one in here. So I have all sorts of dip that I don't know what to do with. My brother doesn't like fancy stuff. So I don't know. I suppose it'll get I've got blue cheese and ranch dip that I don't know what to do with. Well, I'm thinking we could put it, you know, dress up a hamburger or something, but he'll stick his nose up at that. So I'll eat what I can of it, but I have a feeling if I do a vegetable tray at Christmas, there's only going to be one. <laughs> Hi, Ruth. Good morning. Hi, Lily. Welcome, welcome. Lily, if you. LTZ, they had rain all day yesterday. Ruth says, send some cold this way, please. You had rain yesterday? Rain, rain, rain. Is Barb in the house? Cheryl said, eek. 
Barb says, stay safe. We're at a negative 26. Burr, Barb, burr. Cheryl says, we're supposed to get bad weather tomorrow. We've been having really nice weather. And I, I checked the weather report. And it looks nice here in Nebraska all, next, all this week for sure. This is only Tuesday, so it's only a seven-day forecast. So I don't know what next week is going to be like, but it, it looked pretty good for this week. This needs some red berries. What do you think? I think so. We'll put some red berries on it. Oops, that leaf is getting a little crunched up in there. There we go. Let's see. Now, what to do with this? Maybe just little dots around it. It's not large enough to put the holly leaves on. Maybe I'll paint up two more. I get to the dollar store and get some more envelopes. Anne has jury duty. Anne has jury duty today. Now, since they put that label in there, I don't think they do much in here. So we so want to leave postage stamps up here. I'm going to tell those postal people this is their area. You leave this alone. Maybe I'll put a Christmas tree in here, a little one. Shall we put a little Christmas tree? Let's see if it'll get by the post office. The lady will be very considerate. The, the others don't know me well enough. The others don't know me well enough to say, oh, here comes that lady with her envelopes again. Let's do one more down in here. I was watching Dawn at Let's Make a Mess today. <laughs> she put up a Christmas tree and she called it the Griswold family Christmas tree. I have to tell her, I didn't think it was bad at all. But the the lights, the lights were not were too bright for her. They were LED lights. They were not soft and warm. So she ended up. She ended up changing the lights out, and then she I think she was happier. But I said, just pretend, pretend that they're starlight. Pretend that they're starlight. And she put a heart by my comment or liked it or whatever. But she went ahead and changed her tree out. And I'm going, well, you know, the important thing, if you're not happy with your Christmas tree, change it. And that's what she did. So the important thing is that you're happy with it. Now we need snow down in here. Let's just do some little tatting around in here. And let's do the border. We're going for the border. Oh, excuse me. 
What did we have supper last night? We had leftover. I made dressing. I made that cornbread dressing. I wanted to use up the onions and celery. I didn't have an apple to put in it. My brother said, well, I went to the store. And I said, well, you didn't tell me you were going. I would have had you get me an apple. But it was a little dry in muffin cups because it freeze it a lot easier. It was a little dry. It was a little dry. So what I did when I put it, I warmed it up in the microwave, but I put it in a dish and then I put a half cup of, I put it in a long dish and put the muffins here and then I put a half cup of water in a plastic microwavable measuring cup in that this but my my dress i know this from from my other was when you cook your things like dressing to put it in a and your meatloaf put it in a shallow pan of water when it's cooking and that's what i should have done and that would have kept the dressing moist <sighs> But I didn't do it, so next time I will. I don't make a lot of dressing. We have it at the holidays. And you don't have to have a turkey to have dressing. You can flavor it with beef stock is what I did. I'm just buffering away here. You guys are probably buffering too. In the chat. But Google will probably pick up on it and I'll get all sorts of advertising. But I'm thinking of upgrading some of my internet. The back of my phone, I've got a Galaxy S8. And when I first got that phone brand new, I was still streaming using my phone. And I was hooking it up to the clamp up here, and the, the clamp snapped it, and it flew, and it hit the base of the lamp, and it cracked the screen. And I had to get, I had warranty on it. They honored the warranty. I think I had to pay, um, was 149 which was better than, I can't remember what the, the, what your part of it is. You have to pay. But the back of this phone is working loose. And on these newer Galaxy phones, they don't have a snap-off back. They, they glue them in there in the factory. They're glued in. And if you need to have that phone, there is you. But I don't want to pay $149 for them to... Of course, on that other one, I had a cracked screen. I needed a new phone. But I also don't want to send my phone in. <laughs> don't want to send my phone in. I'll be without a phone. And they do, at least they did when I had that other phone. They, they worked fast. You know, I had my phone within a week. But still, a week without my phone is too long. Now, the label will probably fall down to the end. But just in case... She can get that label off. I'm going to go ahead and put some decorative area in here. Maybe I'll decorate this up a little too. Just in case she can pull that. I don't know. But we're going to decorate this area up a little. So it'll be pretty. Then I'm just doing the little dots around the border. I think the dots around the border help set it off. I'll probably do a couple more of these. Maybe three or four more. And then I need to work on the snow globes. And I know I, I think I have about six snow globes that I've committed to from last year. And I'm going to get those done. I'm going to get them done, get them done, get them done. And then, you know, then I'll be free. 
free as a bird to do other envelope, other types of envelope art in 2020. And I really like doing this with the fine line paint applicator. So just because, just because this is Christmas and I'm doing this design for Christmas, I might do other things for 2020 in January. So if you don't, you don't get one of these, you may in the new year. Because, well, just because. I think I'll keep doing them. They're really easy to do with a fine line paint applicator. Painting those snow globes takes a little bit longer. Of course, I get enthused. I get enthused. And I get, I, uh, I have fun with them. We'll put some red berries in the corner here. And in the case, you can pull that label off. The label will probably, I'm going to tell her to put it as far down as she can. So it'll cover the. Cover it up. So we'll just do some dots. There. Okay, one more thing I want to do here, and I want to put in some diagonals. Okay, I kind of lose it in here so I can come back in and So this is Tuesday. So I can go a little bit longer today. I was thinking I'd like to carve a word. I need to practice words. I need to practice on my words. My words are not good. <laughs> oh. And they are much easier to carve on that white polymer eraser. I still go back to that. I've been carving on my speedy carp. And I have to tell you, the polymer eraser is much easier to carve on. For me, it is anyway. For me, it is.
I'm just buffering out there. I don't know if you guys are buffering or not. Oh, let's, well, just a minute and I'll check. I want to finish this and then I'll check my chat. I'm just buffering away. It is just buffering. We have the serious case of buffering this morning. All righty. Let's see what's going on out there. Buffering off and on, Arlene. Hi, Arlene. My brothers and sisters and I used to make up life stories to go with the names. I don't know what they're talking about. Let's see. Lily says the peace cross is for all men that died in World War I. And it was one of the memorials that whoever was trying to have it take. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get political. They shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> Um, uh, truthfully, I think that's one of the drawbacks of being um, a nation that accepts a lot of immigrants. You know, the people that come to our country, their moms and dads country in World War I, so they don't have the same type of family legacy. And I think that's sad. I'm not saying that they're the ones that are against it. I'm just saying it's a part of our being a, a, a diverse nation with different people with different beliefs. Now, on the other hand, we could be a, what do you want to say, a closed nation. And um, I don't want to say tyranny, but almost a tyranny. We could have kings and queens and, and uh, you know, no freedoms at all. Yeah, we're buffering. Mary is fast with her drawings. Hi, Carla. Good morning. Painted girl had to go check in with her neighbor. Cheryl says, yes, now I know it's what's well, not near me in Blandensburg. Ruth says, going to guess, Carla, that you are having snow. Oh, they're talking about, there's the Peace Cross. The Peace Cross was a war memorial to honor the man from Blandensburg that died in World War I. They're talking about a memorial. Ann said, good morning to Carla. Arlene is in the house. Ray is here. I'm missing somebody I know. Good morning, Carla. When the kids were younger, we would go to the Greenbelt Park, hang out, and homeschool by a campfire. Ooh, that sounds fun. Ray says she's about 10 minutes from the Peace Cross. Ray says, I'm sitting here looking at someone's Etsy shop. Oh, wow. I am from Maryland. Every time I drive past the Peace Cross Memorial, I drove past it. I knew I was home. Lily says, we both live on the East Coast somewhere, Ruthie. <laughs> They're talking about a memorial back East. Heavier dips are good baked in bread or rolled into canned crescent rolls. And... Oh, heavier dip. She says, heavier dips are good baked into breads or rolled into canned crescent rolls and baked. Gives them a different flavor. I might try that. Arlene, if you're listening, would that work with blue cheese dressing and ranch dressing? Because those are the flavors we have. Good. What did Lori say? Marinate chicken breast in the dip, then bread it and bake. Now, see, my brother might like that because he likes chicken. I don't like chicken. <laughs> He's not a chicken eater. <laughs> but, yeah, I think. Uh, the dips would make a good marinade, maybe even for vegetables. Um, bake, dip uh, your veggies in some dip and bake them. That might be good. And I roll them in a in a bread crust, bread crumb. I can make bread crumbs. We got we got bread to make bread crumbs. Um, I might try that with vegetables. Maybe even with like with potato slices. That might be good. You're giving me ideas, painty girl. Okay, they're talking about where they're from. 
Okay, I think I'm up to where Barb came in. Cheryl says she likes the envelope. Thank you, Cheryl. All right, let's go back down to the bottom or I'll be behind again. They are heavy enough. Oh, okay. The blue cheese and ranch dressings are heavy enough. The peace cross was for all men that died in World War I. Okay, so I'm back to that conversation. Let's let's clean out my notifications because I can go catch up on those. And let's, I got rid of YouTube. Well, I didn't get rid of it. I just closed it. I'm going to refresh. And there I am. They didn't in that memorial statute because it was denied and our peace war memorial is safe. Yay! Cheryl says she doesn't like blue cheese. <laughs> you sound like my brother. I don't like it. <laughs> He'll try it. He'll try things that he doesn't like. I have to make him eat his vegetables, though. I say, you're not a good example for your granddaughter. <laughs> I put fresh carrots out. He, he will eat carrots. And I put the carrots, I say fresh. They were from our veggie plate. And I said, did you eat your carrots? <laughs> I feel like a mommy. Yeah, you see, they're here on my plate. I've been eating them. <laughs> okay. When I, have, when I have Brussels sprouts, I love Brussels sprouts. My favorite. And uh, <laughs> I make enough for me. But, uh, and then I put in one extra for him. And, and I'll cook them up and, you know, serve them. Put them in half. He'll take one half and think he's had a Brussels sprout. <laughs> he does say he's not. He likes to grow vegetables. He's just not. a. He likes. He ate all the tomato, cherry tomatoes. He likes his cherry tomatoes. And I know, well, he kind of ate them all up. Didn't leave any for me, but on the positive side he ate some vegetables I didn't have to I didn't have to remind him to eat his vegetables so I didn't say anything I, at least he ate them and I made a mental note to buy more cherry tomatoes because he does like those and he will eat carrots but he doesn't like Brussels sprouts there's no cooking of cabbage cauliflowers off limits he will eat sweet corn he probably knew I was talking about him. He'd probably get a little offended maybe about now, but he needs to eat his veggies. I tell him he's like a kid. He says, I'm a meat and potato man. And I'm going, well, that's fine, but you need your vegetables. <laughs> Now, this needs some dots in here. My little holly leaves are getting lost. I think I'm going to paint them white. Doodling. You can just, I got to do this, or let's do that. I wonder how this will look. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Some V8 juice. I don't think he'd drink it. I don't think he would drink it. I think he'd turn his nose up at it. Now, he'll make chili soup, and he'll put, he likes to put tomato juice in his chili soup, so he might drink it. I could try it. 
I could put in a little cocktail glass and tell him that a cocktail, he might drink it. Like, Give up alcohol. It's not alcohol. <laughs> Try it. You'll like it. Mikey, what was that cereal? Was that a cereal commission? Oh, we'll give it to Mikey. He'll eat it. <laughs> that was it. Mikey will eat it. I do wish he'd eat more vegetables. I think he'd feel better. I, I think I'd hear less, less, uh, less complaining from him, but. And he doesn't complain. I mean, he doesn't complain consistently where it's overbearing. He'll mention every now and then he'll mention something, but it isn't that bad. I'm just talking. He's a good brother. He's a good brother. I, I appreciate having a roof over my head. A roof over my head. I don't have to be out in the cold. Living out of my car. Although there are people that do. 